welcome to the channel, I'm Volcano AC and today I have a pedal comparison video for you. I will be comparing the Centavo Overdrive pedal from Warm Audio against the Sugar Drive pedal from MXR. This is not a sponsored video, I paid for these pedals with my own money. This pedal, the Centavo, cost me around $190 including tax and I bought it at Sweetwater. Whereas the Sugar Drive from MXR cost me around $120 plus tax and I got it at Amazon. These two pedals are supposed to bring the transparency, overdrive and warmth of the legendary and mythical overdrive pedal Clonsen Tower. That pedal cost about $6,000 and sometimes you can even find it for $8,000. So, I want to find out if one of these two pedals is able to bring those characteristics, the transparency, the warmth and a good overdriven signal. These two pedals are a bit different from each other. I will say that the Centavo Overdrive pedal even looks like the original Clone Centaur, having the gain over here, the treble in the center and the output on the right of the pedal. When the mod switch is in the up position, it extends the low frequency response, especially on the lower two guitar strings. In addition, it is important to note that the Centavo Overdrive pedal is an accurate recreation of the original circuit. In contrast, the Sugar Overdrive pedal has a volume control, a tone and a drive. In addition, it has a small switch that you can move in order to have a true bypass or a buffered bypass. And I believe that that is because the original Clone Centaur had a buffered bypass. The Sugar Overdrive pedal is supposed to be focused on lows, mids, supposed to bring smooth highs and even to have a high headroom. Now, let me explain you the settings for this video. I'll be using my PRS SE custom electric guitar. I will have the switch in the bridge position. From the guitar, the signal will come straight to my loop station RC3 from Boss. That way, I can loop the signal around. The first pedal I'm gonna test is the Worms Audio Centavo Overdrive pedal. And from there, the Sugar pedal from MXR. I will keep the buffer off for this video so that I don't interfere with the signal coming out from the Centavo pedal. From our second pedal, the signal will go straight to my Engel Fireball 25 amplifier. I will have the EQ section at noon so that all the change that we hear will come straight from one of our two pedals. I'll have the lead gain at 3 o'clock and I'll use only the lead channel. I will not have the clean channel engaged for this video. In addition, I will not be using the mid boost so that all the boost that we hear is from one of the two pedals. This is our master volume and the presence. From the effects loop section of the amp, the signal will come to my GHS pedal attenuator and also through the Ocean's 11's reverb pedal from Electro Harmonics. Why? Because we can. From the Angle Fireball 25, the signal will come straight to my Angle 2x12 cabinet with vintage 30 speakers. And then one of the speakers will be mic with the legendary Shure SM57 microphone. And then the signal will go to my Presonus 24C audio interface and then straight to Studio One DAW. All right, let's get started. Let's go.
right, let me know in the comments below if you think that one of these two overdrive pedals sounds like the real and mythical Clone Centaur. I cannot tell you if one of these pedals sounds like that because I have never owned a real Clone Centaur and I have never played through one. So all I can tell you is, are they transparent? Do they really warm up my signal? And is the overdrive sufficient for my Engel Fireball 25 all valve amplifier? So let's start answering those questions. Yes, both of these pedals are very transparent. They don't color your signal and both try to enhance the true sound of your guitar. However, when we talk about warming up our sound, I feel that the Centavo Overdrive pedal does a fantastic job. However, the Sugar Drive falls a bit short. Actually, I don't think that this mini pedal is warming up my signal that much. So, in terms of are we warming up my signal, the Centavo Overdrive pedal really takes the win. When we're talking about overdrive, I feel like the Centavo Overdrive pedal has more overdrive than the Sugar Drive from MXR. I feel that the Centavo is capable to push the signal of the lead channel of my angle fireball amplifier, whereas the Sugar Drive struggles a little bit. If I will have to choose only one of these two pedals and knowing that this pedal is about $190 and this one about $120, I will choose the Centavo Overdrive pedal from Warm Audio. I feel that it has the punch, it has the sound and it truly enhances how the overall signal comes through. Therefore, I think it makes my guitar playing smoother, clear, more crisp at the top and it brings up the mids really nicely and that is even having all the EQ settings on the amp at noon. Just imagine how would it sound if I start tweaking those EQ settings to taste. I am sure that the Centavo Overdrive pedal will be able to handle, push those even further and, and make my guitar playing much more enjoyable. And as usual in this channel, don't blame the pedals for the mistakes of the player. All right, that's all for this video. If you like the pedal comparison, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. All right, thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.